Good evening, everybody. In high school football, it'll be a battle of ranked teams tomorrow when 12th ranked Pekin takes on 8th ranked Winfield Mount Union. The key will be the Pekin running game after a slow start. The Panthers are averaging 7.4 yards a carry. As you can see, it's, it's getting better for all of our younger kids and uh, they're feeling more confident. Uh, and it, it, it does help from week to week to have those uh, positive plays. Fairfield hits the road to face Clear Creek Amana. My niece Bliss will go to CCA someday. Anyway, both football teams are red hot. Fairfield has won three out of four, CCA four out of five. It will be an offensive and defensive game. Fairfield has averaged 32 points in that stretch, while CCA has only given up 15 points in its last four games. All teams set goals at the beginning of the football season. Not many achieved them, but Scotland County has. You know, we wanted to try to finish in the top four in districts and host one. So for the team, it's huge to be able to accomplish that goal and to start working on a new goal. Knox County will host North Shelby tomorrow night at 7. When you talk about a home field advantage, the Eagles really do have one. We won our last eight games. The last time we lost for week one against Marceline last year. So um, we would like being at home. We're, we're used to the routine. We're used to, you know, uh, doing our thing, the things we do here. If Skyler County wants to continue its playoff run, they're going to have to stop the run against South Shelby. You know, they're a really good running football team, uh, really physical defensive team. Uh, so the biggest thing with us is just to match their physicality because you know, they'll line up, they'll run it right at you. You can check out both Truman State basketball teams tomorrow night as Bulldog Madness starts at 7 at Pershing. Besides the dunk contest and the three-point shooting contest, you'll be able to see what's in store for the upcoming season. It's a fun environment, do some fun games, and, and just get a look at, at the teams before we, before we start regular season play. And, um, these guys have worked really hard to, to improve and continue to put a product out there that that will make our university and our community proud. Indian Hills, by the way, will hold a Meet the Warriors night Monday at 7. Teresa's up next with final weather. Stay with us.